Well, good morning. Today is a first alert weather day. We're already seeing thunderstorms out there, one of which crossing the Savannah River into South Carolina right now. Great view of that uh, from the WTOC Georgia Southern Sky Cam over in Statesboro. Let me show you what this storm's doing on radar. It is electric. Usually when you have that much lightning, it shows you got a little ice up there, some hail possible right now. And this just went through uh, just north of Newington, past Sylvania. And again, where that hail would be, it's right along the Savannah River right now. And that then is moving back toward the Estill area. So let's time this out. If you guys see your city on here, you have a chance of hail. And of course, that lightning, that thunder is coming your way. Surely here, that's uh, knocking on your door. Estill is coming up next. Then it goes toward uh, Furman. And we're going to continue to watch this as it crosses US 321 through Hampton County. That is the one severe storm we're tracking across the area. You can even see that lightning from Savannah looking back up to the north near the Savannah River this morning. So I'll keep you alerted to that. We've got another chance of storms as we go through the afternoon as well. Uh, the convective outlook uh, that's shown a two. So that is a slight risk or two out of five on the convective outlook scale. And for that region, the stormy conditions come in this afternoon into the evening after a hot afternoon in the 90s for many of us. We've got the sea breeze that's going to collide with a front that is, of course, coming into the area. So the best timing I've got for severe storms after three into the mid evening time frame, just like this morning, dealing with isolated heavy rain, damaging wind gusts and the potential for some hail in that storm that we're tracking right now. Same can be said for the afternoon. So let's take a look at uh, the quiet midday and then we go through the afternoon. Here's your sea breeze and there's your front. Watch them collide and there are your storms as we go into the uh, really the commute time this afternoon into the evening. These storms could get a bit sporty with lots of lightning, heavy rain and of course what we're tracking this morning, the potential for the damaging wind and some hail. So through the afternoon commute looks pretty stormy, calms down late this evening and then we've got lesser of a rain chance for the rest of the week. So today is a first alert day again, alerting you to that storm that's already out there. I'll keep an eye on that one for you and then into this evening the rest of the week a little bit closer to average temperature wise and then it looks decent for our Father's Day weekend. Also more is available in the WTOC weather app.